hello everyone welcome back to tech genie so in this video i will be showing you that how to fix wi-fi not showing or not working on windows 10 and windows 11. now majority of the windows users have the same common problem when they click on the network icon at the right hand corner they don't find the wi-fi option here even if they go to the settings go to network and internet they don't find the wi-fi option here even many people they don't find the wi-fi option in the device manager so if you have the same issues then let's move and start the troubleshooting and the very first thing that you have to do that is recommended that find out and confirm that whether the problem is with the hardware or from the windows operating system so it's very simple to confirm click on your windows search type cmd right click on command prompt click run as admin click on yes the black window will be up here you have to type a simple command that will be ping space 127.0.0.1 now hit the enter key and if you are getting a reply from this local network adapter then that means there is not any problem with the hardware and we have to start the troubleshooting with the windows operating system okay so now the very first thing that you have to assure that your wi-fi key has not been disabled now there are many kind of keyboards and laptop that contains a wi-fi key and accidentally these keys are pressed and we are not aware of them and if these keys are being enabled or disabled then probably your wi-fi will not be working okay so look into your keyboard if you find any key related to the wi-fi make sure that it's not been disabled a part of this you can also check the airplane mode if the airplane mode has been enabled then also you would not be able to access the internet but in case if this is not the problem next what you have to do click on your windows search type services click on services app now here in the services you have to look for a service by the name wlan auto config so you can click anywhere then you have to press the w key from your keyboard then you will come to the w section and here only you will have to find wlan wlan auto config here it is once you get it make a double click on it and here you have to make sure the startup type has been selected to automatic and the status is running if not then you have to click on start and if it's already running then click on stop and start it again once done click on apply click on ok and now you can close it next right click on the windows icon then from the suggestion you will have to click on device manager now here in the device manager you will have to look for network adapter double click on it now here many of you will find the wi-fi adapter many of you will not find it in case if you don't find then click on network adapter then from the top menu option you will have to click on view and then click on show hidden devices now you can check back again if your wi-fi is showing over here or not if not then again you can click on network adapter click on action click on scan for hardware changes and again check back so now on my end you can see that i got my tp-link wi-fi adapter back and this time if i click on the network icon so you can see the wi-fi option has been appeared now all right so in case still if it doesn't appear then right click on the wi-fi adapter click on disable device click on yes once it disable again right click on it and choose enable device now disabling the Wi-Fi adapter then enabling it back work for many of the people and if this works for you then you are good to go but in case still the problem exists the next what you have to do right click on the Wi-Fi adapter click on uninstall device again click on uninstall once uninstalled you will have to go back and restart the computer and it will automatically reinstall the Wi-Fi adapter now after doing all these solution is still if you have the issues then finally what you will have to do you need to connect your computer your pc or your laptop with the lan cable so that you can have the internet connection so once you have connected through the lan cable then what you can do you can bring up any of your favorite browser and type here the wi-fi driver name like intel wi-fi driver for windows 10 or 11 whichever you are using if you're using tp-link then you can type tp-link instead of intel then go to the website and download the driver now many of you might not have the lan connection or ethernet cable to connect your computer through the lan connection and if you're one of them then you can go with the last and the most powerful solution that is the power drain now power drain basically remove all kind of static and stop windows malfunctioning and help you back to get your wi-fi network adapter back 
all right so it's very simple if you're using a desktop then you will have to shut down your computer now remove all kind of cable like your power cable your vga cable any kind of external devices like hard disk usb printer you have to remove each and everything and then finally you will have to press and hold the power button for at least 30 to 35 seconds keep holding it and once done you can now reconnect all the cable like power cable your vga cable everything and then you can restart the computer and check back if the problem has been fixed same you have to do with your laptop if you are using a laptop with a battery removable battery then you will have to remove the battery remove all kind of external cable and the charging cable again press and hold the power button for 30 to 35 seconds once done you can now connect your charger to your laptop and then start the computer and see that if the problem has been fixed or not so hopefully guys after applying all these solution your problem will be surely fixed and if yes let me know in the comment section which method worked for you and do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye